Hey YouTube, Mike Coon Hunter. Um, uh, it's time for a plant update. So, there's some babies. That's the ones I had in my grow tent the last time y'all um seen them. So, um, John the Italian five five six asked to see his peppers. So, this is your seven pot yellow for him. Um, as you can see, I told you I topped them. I I topped a lot of them. I thought I topped yours too, but I didn't. Um, these are still too small. This is your brown dougla, and that was your seven pot yellow right here. I separated them. That way I can keep them separate when I do this video. But here's all the rest of them. That's my Peter Pepper. It's had some leaf deformities. But they're, they're living. These are the only ones I had in the big pots, as y'all can see, but... The little dogs that we have, they knocked them off and dug them up and had them out in the yard. So, all three of them big ones, so they're dying. Um, it was a bubblegum seven pot, a maruga I got from T Mudder. Only one of them I had living. I still got some more seeds, but it's too late to start them now. And a Carolina Reaper. So, I lost them three. Well, the maruga still might come back. It's looking like it's wanting to end the bubblegum. Or maybe that's the Carolina Reaper, I'm not sure. But that one I know for sure is done. Um, yeah, here's the rest of them. I fertilized them with some um, fish fertilizer and some calcium to straighten up stuff. I burned them a little bit and they coming back. These I didn't burn quite as bad as the other ones I'm going to show y'all next. There's my ghost pepper plant I've been growing on for a while. I know the lighting sucks. It's dark out here. I been busy a lot lately so that's a little ornamental pepper right there and it's full of flowers and it's putting on pods just in one of them little white cups I had them in so they're doing pretty good I wanted to show y'all this that's the growth on one of my ghost pepper seeds that I saved I don't know why it's doing so much better than the rest of them. I mean, they're all doing good, but see, like, this one has a little bit of leaf curl. Hope y'all can see that. But that one's just nice and thick and ain't leggy or nothing. That is a... What is that? It's a colored cane. It puts off yellow, purple, red pods. And it's going nice. But, yeah, there's a lot of different ones here, so... Yeah, I give it about two more weeks, and I'll be planting in the ground, I hope. It's still getting a little too cold on here some nights. So, all right, I'm going to go to my room and show y'all what I got growing in there. And like I said, I'm sorry for the terrible lighting. All right, I'll talk to y'all in a second. All right, I'm back. These are the ones I topped. I topped them about four days ago after watching T. Mudder's last video. I was going to do it anyway. He just made me to go ahead and decide to take the leap of faith. And my lemon tree's dead. Let's see if that'll focus in on that. There you go. Yeah, it died. Um, but I got another one. I got several citrus trees. But yeah, they're coming back with vengeance. And that's just like four days worth of growth, too. And um, I think I'm going to lose that one. Right there in the back corner of that peach boot. Which I think it had a disease before I cut it back. It was wilted over looking when I cut it back. I thought I might be able to save it. But it ain't coming back. And my peach high below it finally gave up the ghost, I think. I need to water them. I ain't watered them in a while, but it's getting about time to water. Anyway, I don't, I'm trying to keep from overwatering. I'm bad about it. That's a little pepper clone I'm trying. I got me some rooting hormone. Let's see if y'all can see that. And um, I'm going to try it. Here's my fish fertilizer and calcium. I'm mixing up the calcium, the magnesium, and fish fertilizer, and some Bill's Perfect fertilizer, and watering with that. Yeah, about every two waterings, three waterings. But I mixed it up a little too strong last time, and that's why I really wanted to top these, because the new growth is looking fine, whereas the old growth that I cut off was looking all bad, and I wanted to let them get bigger before I showed y'all an update. So that way, I didn't look like I did too, too bad. Those are some tomatoes, and that back there in the left corner is lettuce that I thought I was going to 
grow pretty good, but I about done gave up on it. And yeah, and there's some stuff I started from my mama. There's melons and tomatoes, and I got some more peppers coming up right there. I don't believe they're gonna be big enough in time, but I started growing last year way later than what I'm been growing this year, so we we might see whether they'll make it or not. I'm sure they will. Won't get as much production out of them, but I'll get something. But um, them right there that y'all are looking at right now, those are mush melons. We had them in the freezer since 2001. I took them out and every one of them germinated. I planted two seeds to a um, sale and they all came up. They all sprouted. That is a rattlesnake watermelon. I've had we've had them in the family for years. We only had about six seeds left, so I put one seed in each cell and got one plant. Um, not really good odds, but out of six seeds, I'll take one plant any day. Um, sorry for saying um. I'm trying to work on that, but I'm not good at not saying um. This is a kumquat tree. I went to the co-op the other day and I bought me one. Twenty-five bucks for. A citrus tree that's supposed to fruit indoors i don't try it indoors but i imagine once it gets warmer i'll um move it outside i haven't got any flowers on it yet but it did have fruit on it because before i bought it i was eating fruit off of it so i figured after i ate all the fruit off of it i might as well buy it see if y'all can see them back in there i know they're um not that bright and i'm sorry for the lighting but yeah those are the peppers i'm gonna give to a friend of mine at church and they're looking real nice here I'm gonna try to pull them out y'all bear with me so yeah they look per they look they look really good they're growing nice only to be fertilized once since they've been in here one that one's still a little small but all the rest of them so far are looking really nice that back there I ain't gonna pull it out that's spinach so I'm trying to grow different things and peppers this year. And I have this. I'm going to try to show this without jerking y'all around too much. <clears throat> I took a clipping off of this kumquat tree and I'm trying to root it too. I'm not keeping it under the grow lights because it ain't been ain't as old as this one. This one's actually started growing since I tried to clone it. I don't know if there's any roots yet or not, but I'm kind of hoping it'll work. All right. These are extremely leggy, I know, but they're squash and zucchini and all kinds of stuff that my mama wanted, so I, I grew them for her, and I just ain't had a chance to have them under the grow lights. They've been sitting up here on top of my grow tent for um, ever since I started them, so yeah, that's about it. Um, y'all let me know, y'all ever used them before? Y'all let me know. Um, my mother got them. She wanted me to try them and see if they worked. Nah, I don't really know about them too much, but so for the most part, I'm happy with what fertilizers I'm using. And yeah, they're coming back with a vengeance. I'm happy I decided to go ahead and do it. Should get way more production out of them now. And I'm happy with it. And actually, the leaves look way better now than when they did. I ain't got nowhere near the leaf problems that I had before I topped them. Um, not to say that it won't get that bad, but mm, I hate I ain't gonna be able to grow that peach boot out. That's the only one of them I had, and I think that was the only one. I might have another one in there. I know I have two peach boots, but ones there I have two different strains because one come from one guy, one coming from another, and I was gonna grow them both. So. Yeah, um, after John asked me to show his plants, got me thinking. If y'all want me to show y'all something that I'm that y'all sent me, and I'll be happy to do it. Y'all just let me know, and I'll point it out in my next video. That's some aloe vera I'm trying to grow, too. And um, it needs some water. It's turning brown, but it ain't in a very big cup. But it is growing. That little shoot right there in the center, it wasn't there, and it's coming up so i know i i know i ain't killed it yet so all right man i don't want to get off here i've been talking too long 
And I will see y'all later. Y'all remember rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what y'all think. And hopefully I'll be back in a week instead of like a month from now. I know I took forever to get to this. So hope y'all enjoy. Talk to y'all later.